Major cereal crops like wheat, rice, barley, and corn are progressively failing to withstand increasing salinity and lack of water in marginal areas, where an estimated 1.7 billion people live. This is happening against the backdrop of global population growth, which is forecast to be more pronounced in marginal environments, which are affected by, among other things, growing salinity and water shortage. The Food and Agricultural Organization of the United Nations forecasts that it is necessary to produce 70% more food by 2050, including a 50% rise in annual cereal production to about 3 billion tons to meet the future global demand for food. Another problem is that an average of 2,000 hectares of irrigated land in arid and semi-arid areas across 75 countries are degraded by salt every day. Moreover, it is estimated that around 1.2 billion people live in areas of physical water scarcity, and climate change is projected to have increasingly negative impacts on agricultural production, especially in marginal environments. Increasing drought, salinity, and changing climatic patterns require a shift in cropping and farming systems. There is an urgent need to identify and introduce solutions to sustain and possibly increase agricultural productivity in areas where growing traditional crops has become difficult and sometimes uneconomical. Crops such as quinoa are uniquely suited to do well in conditions where many other crops fail. Quinoa is regarded as a crop that has proven itself to have high nutritional value and considerable biodiversity, meaning it can be adapted to different marginal environments. What is more, unlike major crops like wheat, rice, maize, quinoa is a complete protein. Containing all eight of the essential amino acids, it is packed with dietary fiber, phosphorus, magnesium, and iron. It is also gluten-free to boot. Many organizations around the world have been studying various benefits of quinoa. For example, the International Center for Biosaline Agriculture and the Food and Agricultural Organization of the United Nations have led global quinoa programs in collaboration with national partners in the Middle East and North Africa region, Sub-Saharan Africa, as well as Central Asia to evaluate and test the performance of quinoa cultivars for their productivity when grown in marginal conditions. IGPA's program is currently underway in the United Arab Emirates, Yemen, Egypt, Jordan, Oman, Uzbekistan, Tajikistan, and Kyrgyzstan. Smallholder farmers in marginal environments are likely to benefit most in economic and other terms from quinoa cultivation and growing demand as they have few or no other alternatives. Quinoa cultivation can contribute to addressing food and nutrition security challenges in marginal environments. However, there are still many constraints and issues to be addressed. Some of the key challenges include limited availability of genetic material for cultivation and lack of knowledge of best management practices. Therefore, more efforts should focus on providing smallholder farmers with incentives and cultivation technologies suited to specific environmental conditions. More importantly, it is necessary to devise effective research-based strategies and tools to boost quinoa production in marginal environments. Thank you.